Hello and welcome back to Simple or Difficult. This is Honor to Quote, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add text notes in your Revit project model. All right, so for us to get started, okay, uh, let me quickly grab the text tool. So on the annotate tab, here is the text tool. Okay, this is the text tool. Okay, by the way, like dimension, text notes are view specific annotation objects. Okay, that means that they are only visible on one view that is the view where you created them if you wanted to be visible in other views you have to copy them to that view or retrieve them in that view all right so let me select the two okay okay as soon as i click the two the contextual tab for text two comes up all right the contextual tab for text two provides option for the leader style you know the placement and the text justifications okay so in this example, I will add a note using a straight line with a shoulder. Okay, that is this one. So you select it. Click once to start the leader. Okay. And then click once more to place the, the shoulder break for the leader. And then click a third time to specify where the text will be positioned. All right. The number of clicks used to place test notes will differ slightly for different leader types. Okay, all right, now let us enter the text for the notes. Notice that the text of the notes will wrap when you adjust the width of the text box using the grid points that are at the either side of the text okay controls are the upper corners of the text will let you move the text as you can see i'm moving the text now and you also help you rotate the text if you ever need to rotate it okay like so you can see all right um, when an existing note is selected, you can add or remove leader using the controls. You can see there, if I click on this side, it adds another leader from this side. If I click here, it will add from this side. So when using the controls, these controls here, you can change the location. You can see it's now at the center, now it's at the top. You can see, center, bottom. Okay, okay. so now we can remove the leaders that we added. Okay. Now, when you highlight the text, when you select the text and highlight the text, you know, it opens, it brings us more options for you to edit with. Okay, this is where you make the text bold. You can make the text italicized from here. You can underline the text from here too. Okay, this will make the, the text subscript. That is, make the text, you know, you can see, you make it smaller. Now, let's say I select this one. If I click on this now, you see what it did to the text. If I click on this it makes it in you know, a superscript okay this makes the text in case you have your text all in not maybe all your text are not all in capital letter this will make the text all caps okay mine was already in capital letter so you may not understand you may not notice the impact of what I've just done uh, this is the paragraph panel okay from here you can add bullets okay this is a list number this is an alphabet list you know all caps this is a lowercase list okay from here you can increase the indentation you can reduce it okay this has more this reduces okay with this you can you know increase the list value okay now we are having a if i click on it you will see b you will see c you are going to see d now you can reduce it all right so let me quickly close this Now, last but not the least, we can edit the type parameter of this text from the edit type button that you can see on the properties palette. So with this, from inside here, we can change the color. On the graphics section, we can change the color of this text. You can make it red if you want to. Then hit apply. It has turned to red. Okay, let me show you. It is red now. Okay, you can change the line width if you want to you can make it three but don't make it three okay 
let's leave that one you can change the background you can make it opaque or transparent from here that means you see the things that are behind the text okay now you can show the border of the text like so and you can see the border of the text is showing okay you can also go back in there and then change the arrowhead to whatever you want okay you can create a new arrowhead type if you want if you don't know how to do that yet please check out the tutorials we did on the dimensions part two how to edit dimensions we actually did showed how you can create your new arrowhead in that particular so i will attach the link in the description for you to be able to use it easily so on this text font we can change the text from there we can increase the size or reduce it depending on what we are doing okay we can make it bold the size on the line okay you can always play around with these things to see what each and every one of them does all right that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a like if you are new to this channel consider subscribing not only that ring that bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorial all right thank you very much for watching i will see you in my next video